What's up guys, Gunner fan, welcome back. And today we're discussing my thoughts on this guy. What was that? I am a gunner. All right, sorry it's taken so long. Um, and sorry about the echo, it's a bit echoey in here today. It's a bit, a bit strange, hang on. Maybe that will take it down a little bit, opening the back door. Okay, um, what can I say? This thing is an absolute unit. Um, from the moment I saw the box, I knew that this was going to be a challenge. Um, and it took me about three weeks to put together on stream. Uh, I only streamed three days a week, so it's like nine streams in total. Um, each stream lasting about six hours. So, And that's just to snap it together. Um, so I've got it in this pose right now. Um, it's highly poseable. Um, you can make it aerial on the display base. I'll go through the elements uh, later on. But as you can see, this thing is an absolute beauty. Uh, it's really hard to get it all in shot. Uh, but the base is massive. It's really chunky. Um, it's some good moldy detail on here. So you can go absolutely crazy with weathering and dioramas. You can put, like, you know, men... Um, engineers or whatever uh, all over the place and uh yeah it's just, it's just crazy um also uh it does come with some you know i'll, I'll discuss all that in it i'll just do some different shots with that so it does come with loads of other bits and pieces uh hands uh alternate hands and effect parts uh like the blade uh, it does come with a second and all of the translucent plastic on this uh, is uh, UV reactive. Anyone that's in my Instagram post will, will see the images on there. Um, I don't have the UV light down here, so I'm not going to cart it up there, do some B-roll and bring it back because I'm lazy and I'm tired. <coughs> right, okay, so I believe this is like a reimagining or a stylized version of the high new because of the funnels, the backpack, um, certain elements um, like the arms and parts of of the actual chassis itself. Very, very reminiscent of the high new. However, there is a resin kit out there by Yu-Gi-Oh Land um, that changes the head, the feet, gives you a shield and a rifle. Um, and I think that does a very, very good um, impersonation, I guess you could say, or re um, a reimagining of the high new itself. So um, it does come with water slides on this um, and it does come with photo which I've not put them on because I'm still debating whether to paint this guy. Um, so when it comes to the resin kit, I will be getting that. So I might hold off painting this guy until I've got those resin parts because obviously resin is painting. Um, but this thing uh, straight out of the box is really really impressive you don't need any paint um, like all the painted plastic um, or the you know the, the color colored plastic is very well done there's hardly any swirly like injection like marks or heat marks in any of the plastic uh, the reds really good it's like a nice satin red um, which gives it a nice accent throughout uh, the gold's very, very nice, and underneath uh, all this armour is an inner frame with metal armatures and stuff like that. Um, for example, on here you can open this guy, and there's inner workings for the thrusters here. You've got the engines here, and it's like a metal uh, frame that this armour is on, and that's like throughout. Um, there is open hatches uh, on this and it does have um, features which enable you to lift up certain elements of the kit. I don't have a spudger with me, um, but there are open flaps throughout the kit uh, on the hip skirts, on the arms, the back of the arms. Um, and I think... Yeah, the uh, the beam sabers come out of the uh, the side skirts, much like the strike. Um, but it has loads of gimmickry, um, and these are the weapons. These these here, which uh, imitate the fuel pods. Uh, I don't know whether the um, the resin kit that they're making actually tra transforms these into fuel tanks, like the high new. Uh, but these are weapons that you can detach. 
left and right clasps they pull out and it's a very 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 nice weapon and I think it does break break down uh, or open up underneath I'm not sure I can't remember uh, whether it was a different weapon um, where it sort of like splits apart I can't remember uh, whether it does that or not but it did I do remember them ha it having some sort of like moving gimmickry on the gun but it's it's been upstairs for a little while and I'm just trying to figure out whether it did split or open in any way, but it must have been another weapon that I worked with. Uh, but again, it's it's still well done. It might not be to your taste in terms of it stylizing, but it can hold it just fine. It does have a fold out peg on the the handle there, um, and it does plug into the back of the, the wrist. Um, and also it does come with certain hands these particular holding hands have got like a um, a hinge on there, which is different, and it so it can hold it, and the wrist and the uh, back of the the wrist, well the hand and the wrist, uh, sort of like line up, and it's uh, more of a solid, uh, you know, wrist I guess, uh, a joint. Uh, the hands are very well well done. We'll go through them in a minute, um, but certainly like just attaching this um, and. Clipping it all together is very, very simple, very easy. And they rest in these little little spots here. They don't touch it. It's just that they're a spot for them to go. Uh, they float in there, uh, so there's no damage. All the wings, uh, sorry, the, the, the dragoons or the bits uh, or the funnels, they all come off and they articulate. There's certain bits that you can do to them. And oh, I think it's these that open up because they slide on these um, these parts here. I think they open up. It's probably not going to work on camera. But it's slowly sliding down. There we go. So it opens up the sides there. That opens up and it drops down, giving more of a, a extended look on the uh, the barrel there. Uh, maybe like a cooling feature or something like that and it all closes up and that's that this these uh, are time six throughout and they all just slide on under tension and the wings articulate they do splay out oh no they've already splayed out sorry and they do drop down to be like a more more stowed look <clears throat> And the wingspan is really impressive. It's a very, very nice kit. I've seen loads of paint jobs out there on Instagram. Looks absolutely awesome. I highly recommend it. And for the price, um, I didn't pay much money for this, to be honest. I think retail is about 60 quid, and then there's the shipping on top. But I only, I only paid... I paid under under 150 for this. I can't remember if it was 125 actually. I think it was 125. wasn't wasn't much at all. Um, so that's the Sky Defender. Um, I highly recommend it. I'm going to go over some of the bits and pieces now. Um, all of the hands and beam sabers and additional parts can store under the base, and so there's, there's that. And also, we're going to look at the, the various components next. Okay, nothing much to see, uh, apart from these are the, uh, the clear action display stand parts for the funnels. And they just uh, separate, and then you can, like, get their own gears uh, or their teeth, so you can give them, like, different poses. And there's six of those. And there's the alternate hands. We've got an opposite uh, beam saber holding hand, uh, which is adjacent to the other one. And there's an open hand, which is on the kit. So these are the two uh, hands that I'm using at the moment. There's two fist hands, two beam saber straight up holding hands. And there are two uh, trigger finger hands for the rifles, as well as the other blade. Very, very nicely molded, very sharp and UV reactive. The hands are very, very well done very well molded uh, multiple part 
um, and they articulate as, as if you would and they just plug in very very easily uh, and pull out very easily nice and solid they're some of the best um, model hands that I've seen outside of getting like 3d printed or resin resin style hands and there it is with all of the dragoons uh, funnels bits whatever you want to call them uh, displayed on the you know the action stand things not the best um, look I don't think uh, I've, I've just uh, just quickly smashed these together but you can alter them as you like and display them how you like uh, but that's just a representation of what it can look like uh, on full display and you're going to need a lot of room for this because it takes up a lot of space also to make it look even extra special uh, this arrived the other day for the set which is the cosmos led uh, adaption set for the sky defender Ooh. And we're going to do a little impromptu uh, <clears throat> unboxing so you can see uh, what you're going to get inside the box. As a little brosy bonus from me. Um, so I do plan on adding the LEDs, uh, the resin conversion and other bits and pieces. Uh, and I think once I've got all of the components, maybe decide to paint it. But while we're here, uh, those of you that, that joined the stream would have already seen this. Uh, but I do stream on Twitch Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. So if you want to come along, uh, 1 p.m. British time uh, onwards, discussing anime, gunpla, building, gaming, all sorts of stuff like that. So this is the the manual. It's a very very nice uh, line artwork. Little little bit of a sketch there, uh, a bit of monochrome action. Very very nice. Um, and there's the contents all lined up. That's what you're getting and these are some of the qr codes for uh installation i'm sure maybe some videos or whatnot and then this is the diagram the the, the wiring diagram i guess you could say um this explains how the remote works i think and then on the back, there's some details on how to get the app and program the LEDs via an app, um, which is all in all in Chinese, so uh, very, very difficult to understand. But I might be able to use Google Lens or something like that. Uh, inside, you get this really nice, uh, considering it's one of those LED, you know, standard jobbies, uh, it's, it's fairly big, it's quite extensive, there's loads of stuff on here. Um, so you can turn certain elements off separately. You've got colours here, uh, different modes. You've got the world. I don't know what that means. Uh, that might be something to do with the app. Um, is brightness, brightness. Oh, this is like line one, uh, and this is line two. And then there's modes that you could probably possibly program uh, via the app or something like that. Very, very cool. Um, you know, it's a generic... Uh, LED remote probably uses infrared or something um, but then this um, is the unit itself but there's no receiver on here so it's not like you've got to aim it at a receiver I, I, I don't know how it all works electronics but it, it doesn't seem like you've got to line it up with like a, um, like a sensor or something like that so that's kind of cool so it's like a modern just point it at the thing and it will it'll find it so i don't know if it uses radio frequency or not i'm not sure um so this is the uh the brains um and it does have an on and off switch here i believe as well as um a battery adapter and type c port so you can plug this into the mains uh, or your pc or whatever uh, it does come with a little battery uh, adapter just in case you haven't got any access to type c wiring so you can just use three AA batteries uh, for now get yourself started it does come with these sticky pads um i think this uh, these might be to stick this underneath the the box 
uh, or the, the display stand, I'm not entirely sure, but you do get some uh, sticking medium for certain bits. And then you get the, the wiring bags for the various components. These look like they're for the bits. Got some back with the remote. Uh, this is the wiring, what looks like because of their length. These probably go along the uh, the length of these. So you can display them separately um, from the actual unit, I guess. Uh, this looks like it's for the head and the shoulders, possibly. I'm not entirely sure until I get it all together. And um, these are possibly for the wings, and then these go in the dragoons, possibly. If not, these do. These are, are bendy. Uh, LEDs so I don't know whether these actually go in the length of of the rifle itself to light up oh sorry to light up this bit it might go in there I'm not entirely sure um, until I get my head around it and decide you know what it's time to build it um, I can then watch videos and do research and hopefully uh, more people out there would have uh, in English would have would have tackled it and I'll have a better right understanding because the last thing I want to do is be the first because <laughs> it will go wrong uh, but it's nice that you know uh, these things are in the UK um, and available I've got the Cosmos lighting set from JL Gumpler uh, James, uh, lovely guy. You should see his work. His his gumpler work is astounding. I'll link his um, his website down below. Check him out. He's a, he's a good guy, and he's got all different types of um, optional parts, resin kits. He has access to all of the the back end sort of stuff that you might want to customize your your kits with. So good guy, fast shipping, and uh, I trust him. So shout out down below. And I got this Sky Defender from. Hobby Zone UK. So I'll, I'll link both of those sites down below. Thanks for watching. Sorry it took a, lot, a long time, but it took a while for this guy to be built. And um, yeah, I'll, I've just been like trying to figure out how I was going to do this video, how I was going to tackle it. Um, and yeah, I'm just uh, absolutely astounded by it. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's as, uh, you know, it's the best kit ever. Um, you know, I've got to be objective. There are some parts of it that do feel a little bit cheap on the inside, like some of the inner, inner frame. Uh, although you don't see it, it's just like bare uh, ABS. So there's not that much detail on it. Uh, unlike the likes of, like, say, Yo Yellow Park, Earth Mode, Optimus Prime and Shockwave, each individual piece of that kit was oozing detail and you like detail on detail on detail and then you put more detail in with some detail on the side detail on the top and then and that's just the inner frame then you put in all the other detail on top so he's got a layered um sort of like a layer cake of detail and now this does have some of it somewhere like in the hips and in the chest and other bits and pieces where there's hollow parts so you can sort of see through the the armor and see some of the gubbins on the inside which is cool but I guess the ultimate aim of these guys was to make this kit look visually stunning once it's all compiled. So when you're going through the various stages, like stage one, two, three, four, you can sort of like appreciate how it's being put together. But the initial stages are kind of lackluster um, until you start adding some more of those layers on. So it's definitely uh, worth putting it all together and painting it. Um, but there might be some people out there that might want to just actually go balls deep with the just the inner armor and, and showcasing what it looks like without any outer armor on top, which is which is fine. I think that's the only real issue I, I had with it um, is that you had to get to this sort of stage to just finally step back and go, wow. Um, but it's it's one of those kits that it's still it's still a hot kit for 2024, and it's my kit for 2024. It's the kit for 2024. Um, obviously you've got the tall geese and the lizard and um, or is it the, 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 the destroy monument or the repair monument or whatever it's called the, the, the knock tall geese 160 scale so those are still big contenders uh, but so far this is the only one I've had in hand and I will say the build process was fun it's solid the hand options are great 
uh, the display presence is great the opposability is great it's really really solid really really good base um and it just it just stands out and a lot of people are interested and shown a lot of interest in the kit oh i forgot to mention that the shoulders um articulate as well they sort of like fold up and and uh, these these parts can drop down uh these parts can drop down so it does have like open hatches and like movable gimmicks and stuff, but it's there's so much to go through. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Uh, so when you get the kit and you build it, you, you can go, oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, you know, little hidden gems and and whatnot within the kit. Like when you start moving it about, I've not gone through everything, so I don't want to spoil it. I want people to to figure it out for themselves. Also, the um, the, the the waist unit opens up. Um, and parts at the side, kind of like, um, I can't remember whether it was the God Gundam or not, I can't remember now, uh, where the side skirt just completely separates and wraps around the back um, and creates like a back skirt. Um, or you can bring it back around again uh, for the front skirts. It's, 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 I don't understand it. Um, because there's uh, unless they're uh, they're releasing like the is it the high Mars set that the is it the high Mars or something like that the full armor set for the high new with all the armor that goes on the front and um and the big shield and, and all that sort of stuff so i don't know whether they have plans on adapting this later on uh, there probably will be an alternate color uh because they do that out in china like the first run will go out and then a year later or two years later they'll do like a recolor so keep your eye out on that as well but yeah that's it that's me i've wasted your time long enough i appreciate anyone that's got to the end of the video please leave a sub and a like if you enjoyed the video we really appreciate it thank you all for the new follows and subscribers and stuff like that just a tick of a bell tick of a button uh, it's as simple as that and it helps the channel out and i've seen some analytics and it's and it's been good and I, I really, really appreciate you all. Anyway, thank you so much. That's been the Sky Defender. I've been Gun Fan. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you. See you next time. Now I've got to clean up all this crap. Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt.